In this video, we will be focusing on actioning data collection submissions in Edgelink 1. All data collection submissions will need to be approved by a data collection manager before any changes are written back to the MIS. In the Edgelink 1 settings, you can decide if you would like to have different managers review employee data and student data. For example, someone in HR and someone on the data team. Data collection managers get the data collection icon on their menu when logging in. A red circle highlights the number of data submissions which need reviewing. There are two tabs in the data collections screen. One for requests, which are submissions requiring approval, and one for the log, which details the approved and rejected data submissions. Click on the data request you would like to review. After reviewing the information changes, you can accept the change by clicking the green check mark. This updates the data live in the MIS. You can reject any changes by clicking the red X. Rejecting a change will not update your school's MIS. A green box will appear if you've been successful. To view data collection logs, click on the Logs tab. The log shows the data that has been approved or rejected, along with who and when. By default, the log shows the last month's worth of activity. Simply change the date range if required. You can also export your data collection log as a CSV file by clicking the Export button, allowing you to print or manipulate the data for your need. When you are finished, click the back arrow to return to your main menu. Thanks for watching. For more on data collections, including setup, visit our Knowledge Hub at support.overnetdata.com.